great. Thank you for being here. Happy to be here. Keith. Thank you. This is, um. Keith. Yeah. Keith. <laughs> yep. We're here. You've been your, your, your uh, fourth, fourth season. Fourth season, Congratulations. yeah. Congratulations. Thank That's you so a much. That's a sign of actual success yeah. by yes. that. Yeah. Where, did, where did you guys uh, meet? How did you get together? For, we, uh, your old, old friends? Is that yeah, right? we've, we've been friends for about 12 years, uh, going on 13 years, and we met in Chicago at the Second City. The oh, yeah. Famed Second City Theater. Famous yeah. Second yeah. City. Yeah. Second City. And, um... Uh, Jordan had traveled there from uh, um, from Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I lived in Amsterdam for three years. Really? How how was it you were in Amsterdam? Now I was part of this uh, group called Boom Chicago out in Amsterdam, which is a sketch group. Nobody knows it here, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> don't you dare clap. You don't know. It's out there, but it's uh, sort of Second City style comedy right. brought to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. For now, did do, do you speak Dutch? No, no, you do a lot of physical comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you find what's universal uh -huh. across uh, uh, countries, and what really makes the Dutch people laugh is the Belgians and the Germans. That's, <laughs> that's your go-to Make fun material. of the yeah. Belgians. Yeah. If you're taken, make fun of a Belgian. <laughs> yeah. But now, that, that must be tremendous experience just in, in the world, and also the comedy. My God, you can't ask for a better background than trying to get over there. Yes, yeah. uh, absolutely. And there was some tough crowd. I mean, yeah, a crowd that doesn't speak English is a, is a hard crowd to do improv comedy. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, you get together in Chicago, and right. uh, uh, how did you know you wanted to be a team? Why not just uh, two individuals doing comedy? Well, you know, we, know we, we, we met each other and hung out one night and realized that we had very similar comedic tastes and mm -hmm. stuff. And then uh, just by sheer serendipity, we ended up on Mad TV on Fox together. Well, there you go. Yeah, That's and then right. we wrote a lot of scenes together, mm -hmm. and uh, that was like job security. So let's just like write all of our scenes together, then neither of us can get fired, mm -hmm. and then we'll, <laughs> we'll stay on the show for a long time. And we realized we had a, a thing that clicked. Right. And then, yeah, and then... Now, uh, who's the brains of the team? Well, now, uh, no. I, well, here, here, this I'm is just the way I... I... I'm just trying to start trouble. Just trying to start trouble. This is, this is the end of Key and Peele. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, but no, the but thank one. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I think the be best way to describe it is Keegan is the, the physical comedy genius. Mm -hmm. So we, he's the one that if we have to, if a dog has to sick somebody in the crotch, Keegan it's will step crotch. up. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, we did a sketch. We this did is a sketch the star like of the show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so so you, they actually turned a dog loose, loose on, on you. Yeah, right. I had one of those big suits yeah. that you wear, mm -hmm. and, and the guy who had the tra had trained the dog said, okay, so whatever you do, just keep shaking your limbs, and that way the dog can't get any purchase mm -hmm. with his mouth. And I was like, okay, no big deal. So we put the thing on. No big I didn't, deal. No big deal. Yeah, we'll just keep shaking the <laughs> limbs. Yeah. He's I game. didn't know the suit. Game. I'm like, I'm, I'm game. Let's do the thing. The suit weighs 50 pounds. Right. So you shake a couple limbs, and then on the 18th take, you're not shaking your limbs so hard anymore. <laughs> and then I'm on the ground, and the guys are like, and we're like, just do it, get him in there, get yeah. him in there. And the guy sticks the dog in there, and the dog just takes a chomp on my, on my, on my, my quadricep, and I can't get enough shake on that quadricep. Yeah. And so the guy said, the word is uncle. If anything goes wrong, just say uncle. You've never heard a person say uncle faster or louder in your life. Just, <laughs> he's, like, he's not saying uncle. All I'm hearing is uncle. Get the dog off of him. And the way, it, was, it was a scary German shepherd for the, yes. for the Dutch uh, viewers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all back. <laughs> and the, Brains. Brains. And the, the uh, you know, it's a, it's a middle aged African American guy. I've never seen this happen. As soon as he says uncle, he goes, Nine! And the dog is. <laughs> to, the, to the German That's shepherd. That's true. Get him off of me! Nine! <laughs> That's oh, true. This, it this was is crazy. Not, this is not good. <laughs> Now, I saw a, uh, a tape uh, a bit, uh, maybe it's from the new season, maybe you've done it before. Uh, it's President Obama yes. in, in a uh, sort of a state receiving line, mm -hmm. a, a meeting dignitaries. Yeah. Tell the people what that is. Well, this, I do this uh, Obama impression on the show, and, and this, this is kind of loosely based on something that we saw that first happened, That happened to us, yeah. Because yeah. we, we met uh, the president. Really? When, when did that happen? Uh, we, May, May of 2012. Oh, you remember yeah. the, oh, yeah. the date? Oh, yeah. May 16th, 2012. Very good. And, and 10.47 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, you guys got to go to the White House? Uh, no, he, he was in L.A. Uh, for a fundraising uh, uh, ah. thing with George Clooney, and mm -hmm. so he happened to have a couple hours, and we went to, to the Beverly Hilton to meet him there. Wow, yeah. that's cool. And there, there was, you know, there was a, uh, some of his motorcade who were some Caucasian people, and like, for instance, you know, he would, you know, hey, man, nice, thank you very much, this has been great, and then King and Peele, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, what's up, dog, what's up, okay. now this, yeah, hey. right, okay, all right, get it, 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 all right, all right. That's, my, that's my guy right there, that's my dude, yeah, it, right. it, it, it kind of really happened like that, <laughs> now, um, <laughs> I can't explain what that dynamic is, <laughs> 
you explain what that dynamic is. Yeah, well, that's that's called a bro that's hug. That's called a bro hug. A bro and, hug. and that's it, it's, 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 it, there's two things that you always have to do if you cross paths with another African American. You can, and they're optional. You can take a, make a choice. Mm -hmm. One is the bro hug, which is yeah. this. You get that. So, and you go in. So tuck you get it. that in the chest. Tuck the it. other, of course, is when you, you walk got? past. It's, it's, oh, yeah, it's I like to go. I know you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like to call that. Well, let me, let me yeah. try. Let me, now, what do I do with this? You got to get this in. Oh, you got to get, get the tuck in. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you want to get so in there. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it right like there. And then I got to get, get, get a couple that. of pounds there, Dave. You're doing it. Okay. You're doing it, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Dave, that's great. Dave, did it. Dave, if you do that from from now on, it will make us so happy. Yeah. Make me happy, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> uh, and you, you, uh, you probably, uh, in addition to the president, you have recurring characters that you, you do. Well, yes, you, uh, yeah. Give us a sampling of some of these. Yeah, we, yeah. we have a few uh, recurring characters on the show. We have um, uh, two guys that are valets. They're, they're car valets who yeah. work at a hotel. And um, they love action movies and they love films, but they can never pronounce the names of the people that they like, like correctly. This. Yes. So um, yeah. their favorite movie star is Liam Neeson. But they call them um, Liam Neesons. They also are big fans of Robert Downey Jr.'s. And yeah. you, know, you know who was good, though? But you know who was good? Was good? That Valley Kilmer's was good. Valley Kilmer's was pretty good, though. I did like Valley Kilmer's, man. In like in Tombstone, when he was in Tombstone, they should have given him a statue straight up. But you know who I'd be liking in late, late night, late night, though? You know who I'd be liking in late night? Who you liking that Davey Letterman's. Davey Letterman's. I'm loving me Letterman's. some Davey Letterman's, man. Hey, hey, oh, I'm gonna play all day with Davey Letterman's. Hey, hey, you know what? Let me explain to you. Well, my top ten list is oh. number ten, David Letterman. Number nine, David Letterman. Number eight, David Letterman. Number seven, David Letterman. <laughs> number one, David Letterman. Yep. But number two, though, Paulie Paul Schaefer. Oh. <laughs> Paulie Schaefer. Paulie Schaefer. <laughs> you like Paulie Schaefer? Stuff? You know I be loving some wow. Paulie Schaefer. Ah. So those guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Great, great pleasure to have Thank you. Thank you so much. Good Dave. luck on your fourth Thank season. You so much. I appreciate Thank what you. you're doing. It's great to see you. My thanks to Keegan Michael Key. And uh, Jordan Peele, ladies and gentlemen. There Thank they you. Are. Thank you.